It is so good to be back, and it's so good to see so many of you here tonight. <laughs> Reporters Without Borders has been out every year for the anniversary in the past and many times in between, but of course we missed you last year due to travel restrictions related to the pandemic. Um, we were limited to a small symbolic action in London instead, but it is really moving and it means a lot to us to be able to join you here tonight. And of course, we've returned um, as part of an international mission. So I'm joined by colleagues from four other press freedom organizations who you'll hear from shortly. But please know that while we weren't here, all of our attention and support remained with you, even when our physical presence wasn't possible. What has been achieved in Daphne's case is incredible. The possibility of criminal justice for her assassination is real, something that's extremely difficult to achieve in any case of the murder of a journalist anywhere, as we still see impunity for nine out of 10 cases of killings of journalists globally. But we are getting there for Daphne. And as I've said many times before, we're not going anywhere until justice is fully served. The, con the conclusion of the work of the public inquiry has also been a landmark achievement for Daphne and for Malta. And if its recommendations are properly implemented, it could be a model for other countries. As we're gathered here on yet another anniversary, I wanted to thank you, each and every person here, for your commitment and perseverance in sticking with this, in fighting for justice for Daphne and the broader reforms needed for your country to ensure that this can never happen again to anyone. What you do here on the ground every day, every week, every year that passes is so much harder than our role supporting you from abroad. I know that it can be difficult, it can be frustrating, it can feel like there are many obstacles, but thank you so much. You all inspire me and my colleagues every single day. My message this year is the same as ever, that the world is still closely watching what unfolds here in Malta. The international community remains on your side. You have our support. This fight for justice matters in a truly historical way, and you should be all so proud of the part you have played and continue to play. Please stick with it. We are with you.